Welcome to the Bielsa of the Net match day vlog. <laughs> it's back it, of then. the net. It's back of the net. Look, we might talk about the rumours later on. It's me, Sam. That's me, Tiggs. And we're in Charmant. So we're going to go to the Brunswick. AFC mm. Bournemouth today are entertaining Everton. How are you, Tiggs? You all right? Yeah, I'm feeling really good, mate. You know, it's, it's it kind of a weird feeling, though, isn't it? Because it feels like it's the end of a season, but it's not. It's halfway through yeah. a season, but then we've got like a month where we haven't got any Bournemouth football. And there's all these rumours going around. We're still mm. waiting for the Foley deal to be completed. We've got meetings in Las Vegas with different people yeah. and... Yeah, obviously the the, the Bielsa, Bielsa link has become quite strong. Like we got an expert. We can talk on that later, though, haven't we? Well, yeah, we've we've got we've got some people who we want to talk about. So it's Bournemouth, it's the Blues, it's the Bielsa, and it's the Brunswick. Back in the net. Brunny, and look who I have just found. Hello, mate. Tommy J, how are you, mate? Mm. Yeah, really good. Looking forward to this one. Do I need to ask for your signature autograph these days? I don't know, mate. All these media wanna, apps. Just want to enjoy the game, mate, to be honest. Um, mate, got to talk to you about something over the last 24 hours that's been brewing, a name that's never been mentioned. A lot of people have been mentioning Daesh before, been mentioning Nutson. Saints have got Nathan Jones. That's we have been linked with Bielsa. Mm. Always rated Bielsa ball. Marcelo Bielsa. Uh, I mean, it's a statement, mate. It is. It's a statement. Uh, if Sam out there go and get Jones and we get Bielsa, that's a statement. Leeds um, fans on uh, Twitter, on social media, have been waxing lyrical about this guy. We know about him, but yeah. he's like our Eddie. Yeah, probably. Yeah. No, I think it'll be, I mean, it'll be bloody fun to watch, to tell you that. There's an old man and a young man at the bar. Oh, actually, one of them's Jeff Hayward. How are you, mate? Good. Yeah, good, Sam. Thank you. Marcelo Bielsa. Yes. We've been hearing the rumours. What are your instant thoughts on that, Jeff? Instant thoughts? I don't want Marcelo Bielsa. Oh, OK. Because um, I think he's he plays exciting, attractive football, and, and that's fine, you know. I'm all for the anti-Parker sort of style. But? But I think... It's not really sustainable, and you saw that at Leeds, where you know ninth place one season, then 16th relegation trouble, conceding loads of goals because the players are knackered. Second season, and that to me is Bielsa's style. Yeah. Media media personality is very very good, very popular, but um, I wonder whether all the initial excitement and pizzazz and chaos football that we get as a result might actually only last for a short while before it all starts turning a bit sour and we've got to get another manager in that might be the conversation which is exactly where Leeds were left after a yeah. couple of seasons so that that's all I would say um, there may be other people out there that I think might be longer term a bit better but you know if we if we get Bielsa it'll be different Who it is? Keefy T. Keefy, how are you, mate? I gather you know a little bit about Bielsa. Well, you certainly admire the style of football that he yeah. plays. Yeah, he's going to be Eddie on steroids. He will not compromise. He will. Um, he likes to match up, so players have to uh, really work hard. He's going to be physical. They're going to be tactically aware. And one thing that uh, he certainly does is improve players. So he's no wallet warrior, um, but... Um, his reputation in the game as um, you know if you listen to Potocino if you listen to uh, Guardiola um, and uh, Simeone and those guys they just think he's one of the best so what an amazing statement from Scott Parker to Bielsa is um, somewhat different how many tweets have you deleted none yet hasn't been confirmed so none but yet but your problem with Bielsa is not necessarily Bielsa himself it's to do with the media and the it way was, they yeah. portray Bournemouth and Leeds in very different ways didn't they? It, it just felt like I think they lost like 6-3 in a game and it was how exciting it is how brave it is but when Eddie would get spanked it was naive 
So it'll be interesting to see if that was a Leeds bias or a Bielsa bias. We, we might find out, but... Listen, if we, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. It'll be really exciting. It's a big statement. If you're getting Bielsa in, then you're, you're promising him funds. You're promising him a lot because he wouldn't just take the job. So really surprising, but quite exciting as well. Obviously, potentially it's Gary's last day today. So obviously they're going to pay him respect and an amazing job he's done to steady the ship. But it really is a new era. So we'll hear about the new ownership in the next week or two and probably our new gaffer. I went too soon. That's entertainment, that's back of the day. Did it actually work? Ten minutes to just four. Just, just ruining the pub here. Yeah, I'm sure that. Jesus Christ. There we go. Sorry, Green King. Adam, what's your prediction today? Two one. Four one. I'll go for a narrow win today because we went for a narrow loss last week and I'm going to go for a... Let's have a few goals and a 3-2 to us. 2-0 win. 3-1 win to Bournemouth. I'm going to go uh, sneaky one now. Sneaky one now. Look, um, Mark, what a talk to Hello, man. <laughs> Oh, well, we've gone two goals, three goals, four goals in our last three games, so obviously it's going to be a nil-nil. Um, I'd, I'd, I'd like us to, to put in a, a performance like we did on Tuesday night and get a win, obviously, so I think that's really important position-wise where we are on the table. Whether we get there or not against the back four of, of professionals as opposed to the useless back four that Everton put out on Tuesday night, it's going to be, it's, it's going to be a tougher game today. Um, I'm optimistic that we might just scratch a 1-0 and I'd be delighted with that. You know what? You smell beautiful. You smell like the, a hero. What, what, what's the fragrance? <laughs> I don't know, somebody, uh, initials SD bought me a yeah, lovely yeah. thing for Christmas. Oh, he's he's got a brown man. <laughs> <laughs> he smells of like Palmer Violet. <laughs> <laughs> I um, want to talk about this Bielsa rumour, mate. Yeah. Um, what's your honest opinion of him potentially being forward manager? Would you be happy with that? Very happy. I didn't even consider him when we were looking for a manager because I thought he'd be out of our reach. So, yeah, if we could get him. If he, he's probably been given uh, confidence he'll have money to spend in January. Um, yeah, I'd be I'd be delighted. Leeds fans are unhappy about it, so that would make me even happier. So um, <laughs> yeah, no, it would be really positive, and I feel like the style of football probably isn't too dissimilar to Eddie's, um, so it fits the fits the club. Um, so yeah, I'd be very happy. With that. It's where the fans go, including this fella who's looking suspect outside the Brunswick. Tommy Jordan, how are you, mate? Very well, mate, very well. Um, right, mm. team news is out. It's 2 p.m. How close were you, bud? 10 out of 11. Um, obviously, Stevens in for Meppen was a given, uh, which has happened, but Zamora is back in, which I'm pleased about. I thought he'd stick with, he'd go Fredericks, but he hasn't, he's gone Zamora. So, um, yeah, apart from that, it's unchanged. We've got um, Dembele's on the bench, sorry, Keith. No Lowell or Marcondes in the squad. Okay. Feel a bit hard done by, I suppose, but it's a strong bench. Um, in terms of Everton, I think it was 9 out of 11 because uh, they've stuck with Patterson over Coleman and they've gone with Garner Gay and Anada in the middle, not Garner. So, yeah, 9 out of 11 and 10 out of 11, which is respectable, I'd say. Respectable for me. I'm going to go 1 0 Bournemouth. I think it's going to be shaky. I think it's going to be nervy. I think both teams don't, won't want to lose. But I think we're going to nick it 1 0. Um, who should I go with? Stanislas. Definitely not. Um, <laughs> He I'll, always scores. It's true, but I'm going to go big keeper. The Brunswick done. Let's go to the game. We're... We're... Oh, what the is that? And Tom is yeah. just on his mobile as he usually is around 10 past 2. What you got? Uh, yeah, just a journalist from Argentina okay. saying about um, Bielsa had positive talks with Bournemouth, agreed to sign a contract at the end of the season, possible year extension, and uh, yeah, saying he's held positive talks about the transfer window. Ryan Kent and Tyler Roberts on top of his list, apparently, and he believes that in five weeks he can make Bournemouth a hard working, successful team. 
which um yeah that'll be really impressive considering we aren't competitive in this league. Not I miss Scott, don't you? Yeah, really. Miss the Elsa ball. Bring him back. Two one Brentford, 99th minute. No. What? Ivan Tony. You're joking. Oh god, Europe. Is that from? Is that penalty? No, it's uh, not. No. Oh my god. Oh, I took him out with fantasy as well. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know how many minutes have been added in how this many, game. Like, we could uh, have done 10 with minutes added time. We could have done with them losing. 10 minutes added time. Um, cut back. Tony buries it. Yeah, wow. Oh, unbelievable. Oh, my God. The Chris Meppham. He's not involved today. However, he's watching the game. Of course he is. He loves the Boscombe. Here is in his uh, usual what turnstile D. Turnstile D, mate. Yeah, he's in the he's in the north. We're we're slubbing it up in the east stand. <laughs> but good view though, Tiggs. Apparently, good view. Yeah, I love a left to right. Feels like I'm watching tennis. You enjoy it, mate. <laughs> stand. East stand. We're in. In the east stand. Sorry, that one. That, yeah. is, that one up there is goal line technology. Ah. So that, if there's any kind of uh, on the line decisions, that'll that'll tell you. Oh. Along with six others, I think. I think it's seven in total. Oh, oh, that's, ball, a, that's a great ball. ball. That's a fucking superb cross. Oh my God! What's an effort? <laughs> Going on. I don't know what's going on. 
Still one nil. Are they out? I mean, you know, obviously we don't want any uh, anything serious going on to anyone. However, that's a lot the, of people on the pitch now. That's the kind of combative player that Kiefer Moore is. He'll go for any header, regardless. Yeah, that's the kind of combative player that Kiefer Moore is. He'll go for any header, regardless. Ball players are walking back. So, that like. Uh, well, the scoreboard has changed. The scoreboard has changed. Is that okay? I think we got two. Don't we got a head injury? Maybe. Let's go. Keeper. You know what? This has been a really good bit of pressure, and it really good for us. Like sustained. Everton have really had a sniff of things. No, and a lot of the time we're winning the ball in that final third. Yeah, yeah. We're getting quick on the counter. Massive change. Well, we, uh, we nearly lost it, and then it was won back by Jay-Z, yeah. and then Phil Bill had a shot from an angle, and then, all, you know what, it's... Um, There's a real difference, yeah. in my opinion, the commitment we see from the ball players today to the Everton players. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, to, to win a ball, keep a ball, yeah. keep fighting. Just got to keep on going, just keep on going. Keep on going. Oh, don't go. On that, wouldn't you? He, he almost lost his bearings a little bit, pulled it left of the post, but I'll tell you what, whenever we're going forward now, few and far between, but we look quite well dangerous, well dangerous. I think we need to talk about that goal takes. Uh, it's nearing half time, but we're just reflecting on what we've witnessed. Um, yeah. What a brave header from Peter Moore, wasn't it? Really yeah. brave. I know that there were you know there was an injury as a result of it and he had to be substituted off in the end, but Keeper Moore, just like the bravery that he shows, he, he's had such a good arm. I think you said it really well earlier, Sam, like the, the, the dimension that he adds. And, you know, since he's been introduced into the starting 11, playing more regularly, it's absolutely changed our, yeah. our team, our game. It's just given us so much more. Uh, and it just gets to change. People talk about him beginning of the season, if he had an impact sub in the Premier League. No, he's, he's earned his he's place. He's more than that, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, well more than that, well more than that. So, I know the top set in contention on the tier list. Maybe, maybe, it should have been one tier higher. Haywood at half time. Yeah. That could be a regular feature, half time Haywood. <laughs> um, mate, uh, tell me about your thoughts on that because I don't think Everton really laid a glove on us in that half. No, they didn't. Um, they're obviously a bit limited going forwards. Mope is, is dangerous when the book when he's got the ball at his feet, but he, he, there, there's there's no real threat from Everton going forwards. Touchwood. Yeah. Uh, we look quite comfortable. And we look like we can score when we break on them. I mean, they, they, they do look even... They, it, it looks like the same back four as uh, Tuesday night, even yeah. though it's completely different. We're seeing, like, mini formation changes throughout the game, though. Sometimes going three at the back and then at different moments within the game, we're four at the back. But we seem to be picking and choosing our moments very well. And just a word to the goal scorers. Nice to see Tavernier scoring, but Kiefer Moore, another brave header. I mean, Kiefer Moore, there, there may be dead bodies littering the box, but Kiefer Moore's going to score. <laughs> it is unplayable, and he is such a unit. You get the ball in the air, they're terrified of him. <laughs> Rightly so, because... Because he leaves the he leaves the penalty area looking like the song. Yeah. It's fantastic, <laughs> fantastic. Uh, I just feel that um, we need to get the third. We know how psychologically we've been a bit flaky with two 0 So let's see if we can push on, get a third. I think actually if we get a third, Everton will collapse, yeah. and and that's what we got to push for. We could we could get four or five here today. Let's yeah, hope so. Up the cherries. Up the cherries. We 
they start in the second half in style. I'll tell you what, it was like it was like the party of the Red Sea then, albeit blue. We should have done better from that situation, but we're opening them up. Dom, great run down the right. Oh my god. Looking at sewing machines during the game. I absolutely love it. You only you only singer when you're winning. <laughs> oh Tiggs, genius. There's a man who knows their sewing machines right there. So it seems. Swing it up and we keep coming on them. Yeah, we do. How's your, how's your Dow Edwards, by the way, mate? It's all right, buddy. Yeah, it's OK. It's, right, it's big and it's hot. Quite Keeper Moore is off. Jay Nadley on. Good luck at the World Cup, Keeper. But not too much luck, eh? Not too much luck. Really good performance from Keeper. Oh, nice. That is pretty. Oh, that's him! Before he didn't make contact with the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know what? He did well with that header because he just cushioned it a little bit as well. Yeah. That's about his third touch of the game or something, stupid. He must be up there with a the chance as well. He's great, he's great. Whoever does this coffee, right? Can you just take it down like a few Celsius? Because it's very, very hot. I'm not being funny. That's hotter than the sun. I know it sounds all partridge, <laughs> but that I can't. <laughs> He's been standing for 20 minutes. I've been having to drink it. Checked. Oh, it looks like they've checked oh, already. Checked. That... Yeah. Oh. I did think at the time. I did think. Oh, is it? A bit easy, wasn't it? Yeah. Like they pulled up and stopped trying, wasn't it? Um, to get back. So. Tell you what. He's sad every week from now on. <laughs> Marcus Tavernier looks like he's going to be replaced by Ryan Christie, which you know what? What a good, that's that's the right call. It's the right call to make. Buddy, Three yeah. for all done, Three for all done. And uh, yeah, the a lot of optimism 
a lot of optimism and a lot of happy faces. I think it's so important to finish on a win, but more importantly, finish above that dotted line because yeah. for me, it's massive. Now we're going to do a bit of a Jeff Banks. Oh and yeah. I'm going to I'm going to tell you what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing this beautiful white number, the MSP Capital shirt. But Tiggs, I know you're wearing red, but yeah, it's, it, it's not a it's not a back. shirt, is it? The, what what have you got there, mate? What's, yeah, I've got a very special T-shirt on today. I, yeah. I just wanted to say thank you to these guys for all their work and. Time because it's great oh, oh, it's awesome. Awesome. big ups to you guys all right thank you oh. love that from him but yeah i've got bobby moore fund bobby moore fund yeah this is this is a friend of mine who's raising money for this charity it's a, it's a really great charity it's uh it tackles it's tackling bowel cancer actually um and uh yeah a friend of mine lots of people do like keepy uppies and things for it and i just had to buy this t-shirt because it is brilliant um so i'll put a little link if that's okay with you Sam, yeah, in course. below yeah and you can see uh, some more information on it but yeah it's a really great charity it's, it's, it's uh, run by Bobby Moore's uh, wife yeah. who obviously won the World Cup and there's a World Cup there and I just thought it was very apt yes. as we go into the World Cup love it love it what a day what a day right oh, more six yeah. not Kiefer though not Kiefer no not the choice I'm choice So there we go, Dean Court is done for quite a while now. It's weird that we're not coming back here for a long time seemingly, but we're all going to be cheering on our respective countries, England for me, hoping that uh, you know Gareth Southgate can lead us to World Cup glory, jury's out about him, but yeah, what a game today, really, really chuffed with the result, and um, yeah. Gary O'Neill, if that is to be his last game, which we think it will be, what a job he's done. We're so thankful for what he's done in terms of steadying the ship. And you know what? Whoever comes in, Nutson, Deich, Bielsa, he's got a team of talented players on his hands. He really has. It could be onwards and upwards for Essie Ball. Loved that, loved it. Until the next vlog. Up the cherries.